Juneteenth. The Emancipation Proclamation, signed January 1st, 1863, by executive order of President Abraham Lincoln, was focused on ending slavery in all states, but could not be enforced in places under Confederate control. Slaves who knew of the upcoming Emancipation Proclamation gathered for a watch night service the night before. They called it Freedom's Eve and celebrated at the stroke of midnight. The 13th Amendment was signed by President Lincoln on February 1st, 1865. The Constitutional Amendment passed by the Senate and House of Representatives was to guarantee the abolishment of slavery across the nation. Soon after, in April of 1865, Confederate General Robert E. Lee surrendered, ending the Civil War and eventually Confederate control in the Southern states. Union soldiers, many of them whom were Black, marched to cities and plantations across the South to read copies of the Emancipation Proclamation announcing freedom. On June 19, 1865, two and a half years after the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation, Major General Gordon Granger along with his Union troops, marched into Galveston Bay, Texas, and announced that the Civil War had ended and all slaves were free. The now free former slaves in Texas proclaimed that day, Juneteenth. The good news of freedom had been kept from many people who remained in slavery all that time. General Granger read to them, the people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the executive of the United States, all slaves are free. This involved an absolute equality of personal rights and rights of property between former masters and slaves. And the connection heretofore existing between them becomes that between employer and hired labor. The 13th Amendment reads in part, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. The 12 years following the 13th Amendment in Juneteenth, called the Reconstruction Era, was a period of hope, change, and struggle for Black Americans, though extremely hard times were to follow. The legacy lesson is to never give up hope, even in uncertain times, because a change is going to come. I was born by the river. In a little town, and just like that river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Yes, it will. It's been too hard living but I'm a 
afraid to die Cause I don't know what's up there Beyond the sky It's been a long, a long time coming But I know A change gonna come Yes, it will. Then I go to my brother, yeah. And I ask him, help me, please. Oh. But he winds up knocking me right back back down on my knees and oh there's been times that i thought i couldn't last for long but now i think i'm able to carry on it's been a long a long time coming but I know a change gonna come. Yes, it will. Life can be hard and times can get rough. And sometimes I feel like I've had enough. But if we stay strong and keep holding on together, together we can get tough. And oh, when I go to the movie and I go downtown, somebody keep telling me don't hang around it's been a long 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 time coming but i know a change gonna come yes it will oh a change gonna come Yes, it